She seemed nice. Hot lug? Yes. I admit I underestimated her a bit. Friendly sort, that one. Now, I have to go deliver that message. Would you like to sit here while I go? That would be nice. I could use a rest and all that rain is starting to grate at my ears. You feel safe enough here? I think so. Talon and Kirava were quick to step in, so I don't mind. They'll look after me, I think. And if anyone does try anything before I get back, let me know. I will. Hmm. Well, that cleared up nicely. Genuine Falmer blood elixir for sale. Live for thousands of years. See into other people's thoughts. All right. Snake oil salesman. Orphanage. Temple of Mara. I think. Learn a What's up there? Worth of knowledge in moments. Grow back that missing limb with my genuine Falma blood elixir. I don't think so. Interesting. It looks like there's a way up. Yes, it does. I wonder. Is this a dead end? Have I gotten myself turned around? Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. Right. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Useless. But... Perhaps not entirely useless. How do I get up there? I shouldn't take too long. I suppose I could just walk in the- hello. The front door. However, Oh dear. <laughs> and of course I'm on the completely wrong side of everything, aren't I? Is this, I wonder? Thieves Guild, perhaps? It appears I'm going to have to go the long way around. Yeah! I'm not sure why I thought I could make that. Without injury.
curious. What is this? A dagger that cannot cut wasn't of great interest to me. I have no idea what this is about. Something about we know. And killing 27 people in one night. Impressive. Probably boastful. I don't even think I know of anyone in our organization that can do that. Yeah. Changing of the guard. I'll give them a moment. There we are. Now I just have to make sure I can get out through the front without being... ...discovered. Although, I suppose, if it were anywhere else I would be reporting this to the guards. However, we aren't in Morrowind anymore. Well, the, uh... I'm just not going to go up that way. The chain of ghost walks might have been somewhat... Redundant, but effective. Oh, and an alchemist's shop. I wonder if Sarah will be interested in that. How much blood do I have on my ads? Probably not enough to worry about. You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Hello, Sira. Are any of these fine folk giving you trouble? Uh, no, actually. 
How did it go? Well... Let's get out of the way first, shall we? The strangest thing happened. You'll never believe it. I went to give Aretino's friend his message, and the old woman that runs that place dropped dead. Oh. Oh no, those poor children. Wait. Myth? Yes? Did you? <coughs> what, you don't think I had anything to do with that, do you? Well, the timing is rather suspect, and Aventus was trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Well, I can assure you of one thing. I'm not a member of the Dark Brotherhood. I... <laughs> I think that's a good thing. Come on, let's get a room and settle down for the night, shall we? I'll keep watch. I'm not sure I trust this town. You need to sleep, too. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. That's fine, thank you. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Is this enough coin for a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very much. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Follow me. Uh-huh. Is there something I can do for you? Not right at the moment, but thank you for offering. Wait a minute. Myth? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, there's a... That's Kirava, isn't it? Yes. Okay, give me a moment and I will ask when we're settled in a room and whatnot. Let me know if there's anything else you need. You might want to step back. Okay, stepping back. Maybe. Is everything alright? What can I get you? Me? Wine? Uh... No, I'm fine. What's the word around town? The Thieves' Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. Hmm. Come back and see us again. Oh dear, we're in your way. I'm terribly sorry. It oh. And away she goes. Right, what were you going to ask me? Uh, well... The sleeping thing, and then the not wanting to deal with the drinks. You're not a vampire or something, are you? No, not a vampire, just a very light sleeper. I'll doze off in this chair, as I've proven many times. That'll be just fine. Okay, okay. Sorry, I just... I think this town makes me twitchy because I'm suddenly very aware of the fact that I don't know what you look like. I look like a red-haired Dunmer. <laughs> Red? Who? <coughs> Natural or dyed? That is a secret. <laughs> oh dear. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients, I have them all. My goodness. Mornings in the Rift are... Crisp? Crisp. <laughs> but beautiful. It feels quite nice out. You alright? Oh yes, just looking at a snake oil salesman. Oh, good. So, do we have any other business here? Not really. I suppose we could ask around and see if anyone needs help. That would take us back to Windhelm anyway. Indeed. Jewelry There's a smith. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves' Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lice. They're just thugs. Vermin creeping around the rat way. Do you... believe him? Or... 
I honestly am not sure what to believe around here. Hello, sir. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Well... Just sort of looking around. I imagine current events are keeping you busy. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery. But what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. Indeed. You seem quite proud of your work. Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Impressive. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, we could get some for you. I think. Probably. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. And keep you going for a while yet. Where would we find fire salts? A flame atronox body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. Oh, right. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Right. Okay, now I need to find our way back down under the everything. Under the everything. Yes, there's a lower level to Riften. And I think in my wanderings yesterday I found the alchemist shop. You might be interested in it. That is beautiful. Staying safe, I hope. I hope. Sorry. <laughs> it's quite alright. I can feel the sun on my face and I can only assume that that's what you're talking about. Yes. Uh. Excuse me. What? Was there someone following us? Yes. Good to know. Alright. This is tricky. There's a plank here. Don't cross the plank. It's just down the stairs. Okay. Oh, I can tell this is going to be difficult to navigate, isn't it? Maybe a bit. It also smells like fish down here. Actually, it sort of reminds me of home. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Oh yes, Shimmerine is a coastal town, isn't it? Yes, it is. Did he say genuine Falma blood elixir? Yes. Snake oil salesman, indeed. What were you going to say? Something about... Uh... Oh, I don't remember what you started to say. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Oh, I think I know. The sun through the aspens. Or... Birches. I'm actually not sure what kind of tree it is. I'm not a botanist. <laughs> ah, are the leaves sort of round or are they more spade shaped? I don't know. I'll have to go look. Are you a botanist? Uh, no. I've just read a lot of books. Fair enough. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. Didn't realize anyone was home. Hmm? Uh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. Ah, are you the alchemist? I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent. But I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. 
My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. What sort of ingredients do you need? To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Deathbell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? Uh, yes, that's what I'm interested in. That means more time for my experiments, and less time in the field. Much appreciated. Right. Uh, I will then talk to Master Elgrim. It was good to meet you, miss. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. You here for lessons, like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Um... Oh, I was just wondering this if... This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. Oh? Where's my head? I never even greeted you properly. That's all right. It seems like you have your hands full. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore's stone. Now, goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. Ah, uh, well, we're headed back to Windhelm in just a while here. We could get that for you. You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore's stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. All right, we'll be on our way then. Ah. Uh... Are we leaving just like that? Uh, yes, it's probably for the best. Ah, fresh air, that feels quite nice. Right, we were going to go look at some trees. <laughs> uh, are you quite all right? Oh, I'm just fine. Why? Well, you seem a bit... I hesitate to say flustered because I don't have a very good baseline for you, but... You seem flustered. I'm not. I'm... Perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. That's another fight! Is that why you entirely forgot to ask about the... Fire salts. Crap. Well, what? I'm trying to figure out if this wolf wants a piece of anyone here. Right. Anyway, oh, a storm is coming in. Lovely. All right. So the leaves are sort of spade shaped uh oh dear i actually can't remember if that's birch or aspen i wish there was an easier way to remember that indeed right where is the smith that will be him right there Hello, good man. I hope you haven't arrived here looking for work in the mine. Uh, what's wrong with the mine? Sure, it's full of spiders. That's what's wrong with it. 
Almost killed Grogmar and me when they showed up. I'm worried that they'll come out of the mine looking for food soon. Then we're in even bigger trouble. The town guards can't help you? Ha! <laughs> what town guards? Yeah, they're as useless as a fifth wheel on a wagon. Gave me some sort of line about keeping an eye out for enemy soldiers. What's the point in protecting this place if the mine's completely useless? Idiots. We can clear them out for you. Tell you what, keep to your word, and I'll line your pockets with as much as I can scrape up. We're actually here for Elgrim's ore sample. It's about time. I sent them a letter weeks ago. Ah, that Elgrim. He'd forget his own pants if his wife didn't help him dress. <laughs> here you go. Tell half your that she can chip off whatever she thinks is a fair trade for their time. Works for me. I don't want to be responsible for sending you to your death. Be careful in the mine. Right, actually before I do... Nasty little buggers, aren't they? What's so special about this ore? Redbelly is supposed to be nothing but an iron mine. Been working it for years. Then, right before the spiders had moved in, we found that chunk of ore. Never seen anything like it. I want to know what I'm dealing with before I start tearing it out of the ground. Makes sense. I don't want to be responsible for sending you to your death. Be careful in the mine. We will. Oh, I'm coming in to smite spiders with you? If you'd like. Oh no, I'm coming in to smite spiders with you. That wasn't a question. Fair enough. So, I have a question. What's all this about enemy soldiers and whatnot? Oh. Skyrim is having a civil war. Well... Crap. Excuse us. How was I supposed to know that? Until... Oh, gods. Until now, I'm not sure you were. Be careful in here. Uh-huh. It smells like... I'm not sure what. Oh dear, I'm stuck. Great. Are you alright up there, Syria? I'm fine. Oh, that's you. It is me. Well... That was quick. That was very quick. Why are we going back down? I want to see if I can find where the ore vein is that they were... confused by. No, I don't see anything here. Oh well. Ouch. I used up a potion and I am replenishing my supply. Gods, it's awful in here. Yes, it is. Ew. Is that all the spiders? Seems to be. Watch your feet, it's not exactly... Oh no, it's... I'm... Oh, uh, as watching as I can be with a stick. Sorry. No, you're alright. It's, uh... Interesting to get used to. I was a bit terrified there when you said you were stuck. Did you fall all the way down that? Well, yeah. Oh, a 
and now it's raining. And now... They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. And now it's raining. Oh well. At this point, it isn't like we're strangers to walking in the rain. Oh. And it's done. <laughs> well, I appreciate the abruptness of Skyrim's weather. Changing. Mm. Nasty little buggers, aren't they? Nasty but dead. Didn't take long. Gone? Every one of them? Why, that's incredible. Finally, we can reopen the mine and put Shore's stone back on the map. Here, please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude. That's a lot. That's a lot of gold for having just scraped it together. Don't kid yourself. Stone runs in our blood. Thank you very much, sir. Alright, now what? Uh, now we get to go walk through the rain back to Windhelm. Oh, oh lovely. Well, that's alright. Oh, thunderstorm. Ah, so the rain is falling in sheets then. That explains the abruptness. Oh, indeed. Mm -hmm. Do you want to grab one of these and see if you can figure out what shape the leaves are? Oh, are we in front of- oh. No, I would rather just get going so that the armor doesn't rust or something. I know we can put oil on it or something to keep it situated, but... I'm not going to say it's lightening up, but I think it's lightening up. Give it another few moments. Or it'll turn to snow, one of the two. <laughs> oh, and it's back. Skyrim's weather. 